There were things like running biographical comics on Nobel laureates to go along with the announcement of the Nobel Prize. And when it seemed like bullying in schools had become a problem, running a comic about the bullying issue. I think it's fine to have those things, but I also think that it's not something you should make into a strategy for the magazine. I believe that comics and magazines are purely entertainment after all. What Toriyama is getting at here, and quite emphatically mind you, is that comics should be used to entertain rather than to pander or preach. He's not against the messages that these edu comics were trying to convey, but just suggesting that they shouldn't resort to making a comic to get something across. This should be directed at the people that we call an anime is weird a lot of the time type of people because at the end of the day it's just like as he kind of said it's quite literally meant to be for entertainment. Again it doesn't make any type of sense to how many people be like yo this anime sucks because there's a lolly character in it or yo this anime sucks because there's too much perversion shit that's within it or anything like that. Even if you took all that stuff away you would still tell me that anime isn't weird like you have demon sisters that basically run around beyond rampages unless they have a damn bamboo stick in their mouth or essentially you have just people wishing dragons out of mystical ass balls and things of that sort you mean tell me anime still without all that type of stuff you know wouldn't be weird because yes yes it would be buddy yes it is and the reason why people find it weird obviously is because they can't perceive anything past themselves or what fiction actually is. In their mind, fiction is what Marvel and DC made it out to be, right? And they mean the good parts of Marvel and DC. The only good, clean, and prosperous parts. And that's literally how it is. And that's kind of what a lot of people in their minds of what fiction probably is to them. Something that is somewhat chained in reality or something that can be explained. But when you bring in a creation that cannot be explained by regular means, that doesn't make a lot of sense, that's when people start rejecting the idea or not necessarily caring too much about that type of stuff, right? Even if you are a fan of Dragon Ball, nine times out of 10, there probably is gonna be some people that isn't a fan of Dr. Slump, mainly of Rayleigh when it comes down to it, right? She is literally a whole ass robot that can freaking split the planet in half but also the same type of person that will poke at some poop on the street. It, it, it doesn't make sense. And that's kind of the damn point. It's not meant to. It is a joke. It is comedic. And that's the fun part. And that's even more so the great part of anime just in general. It is quite literally meant to entertain you. Much less, it is unchained thoughts of what a person can create and what they can bring into the world. Right? They don't need all this science fiction ass logic when it comes down to it. They don't need all this type of stuff just to have things happen. If you want things to happen, it will just happen. And that's just kind of how anime is. You don't have, ha you don't really have to have rhyme or reason when it comes down to it. And that's the beautiful thing of it. And I feel like when you try to really sit down and think how logically stuff works in a show, that's when you start taking the fun out of what you're watching, honestly. And that's kind of the point. It, again, it comes back to just being an entertainment sort of thing. It's not meant to sometimes make sense. People oftentimes will push away a lot of things that doesn't make sense or they can't understand. So they be afraid of it. That's why you get canceling of certain types of, you know, people wanting to cancel certain shows and whatever. And that just is unfortunate because it's not meant to be, you know, taking anything type of seriously, but people will drag it to that point. And it's just like, well, that doesn't make any sense for people to act this way. And then it'd be like, well, instead of just watching anime and trying to understand and comprehend it, instead of doing that, why don't you just watch something else or go to a different type of thing? And then they don't decide to leave because they're too stupid enough to, you know, not necessarily take the idea in hints and just continue to keep watching anything. And it just doesn't make a lot of sense across the board. If you cannot accept things that has already been in anime, much less been in there for years on end, longer than you have been alive then nine times out of ten you're probably not gonna like the rest of the product honestly it's not meant for you to change it like you're not supposed to be someone that's outside to change things you shouldn't have a say at all but when it comes down to it though it just comes down to that this is just how it is and if you don't like it you don't have to no one's forcing you to when it comes down to it 
and it's just ridiculous that how many people are just like yeah i'm gonna just watch it hate watch it and then continue to keep on hate watching it while also hating on everybody else that watches the same thing that i hate like wait what and obviously nothing and i do mean nothing in this whole entire perspective of anime gets shitted on hard then you know things of the perversion type nature things of the lolly type nature and things of that sort of way of how it is like there is nothing that gets shitted on harder than that because at the end of the day they can't perceive that a lolly character can do or be a part of weird and wild and situations but it's fiction it's literally someone's imagination they don't have to make sense of course they can be part of it or in a harem show why do all 70 of these damn girls end up liking this one shitty ass guy it's imagination it's literally meant to be that way or why do you have these dd type characters who are supposed to be big and strong and all that sort of stuff be these female characters and again at the end of the day somehow they still like this one guy or get manipulated by this one guy which f this guy by the way but when it comes down to it though because it's their imagination again everything kind of comes down to entertainment and imagination what is something that you imagine is wild and weird but still could work as a show and that's kind of the whole ass point what you think fan fiction is essentially literally people writing their own fan ideas of what they think certain things could happen in the show or make their own little indie parodies of things or make their own indie shows when it comes down to it we think honestly magical circus is right what you think the magical digital circus is with pomni and all of them in it's some weird stuff it's weird it doesn't make a lot of whole bunch of sense even with the plot line of just wanting to escape the thing why is so much random shit happening i don't necessarily know but am i supposed to be taking this shit extremely seriously no at the end of the day yes probably i want her to get the hell out of there so she can stop being crazy for five seconds but when it comes down to it it's mainly meant to entertain you and that is all of what it comes down to right so when you start trying to be like oh anime is weird or you try to take it into a high level way of thinking when it's really not that high level of it and you get disappointed or you hate it or you start hating anime fans for liking certain things then that's basically pretty much on you but that's essentially what i really want to say for this one so hopefully you enjoy if you did be sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification on your house also follow me on the socials and like to donate to the channel ko-fi and cash app is available as well and until then it's a budget sign off have a stay